night. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy back with another video. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Y'all watch football. I hope your team is in the playoff hunt because my team isn't. They're out of the playoffs. Not looking good. But taking some steps in the right direction. But enough about football. Taking a break today from talking real sports. Do that tomorrow after tonight's Monday night game. Today, I'm going to show off another 2K build. I know the meta is power forwards since they get like 70, 80, 90 badges. But I'm going to show off a center build. I can pretty much still do everything. Uh, plenty of playmaking badges. Can shoot. Still play defense. Hall of Fame Intimidator. Rim Protector. And can finish at the rim. Max driving dunk. Max uh, standing dunk. So it's it's another build that can do it all. Just 20 less badges than a power play. Here it is right here. Stretch glass cleaner. I'm going to delete it and you know just show off the uh, attributes and uh, badges so let's delete it so you can see I have too many builds this is my main build here the glass cleaning shot creator I will be messing around with a guard as well as a secondary build I want to learn how to ISO because I've never ISO before all right so let's get started Center doesn't matter what hands jersey number doesn't matter. Um, I have it on my phone, so you'll be seeing me looking at my phone. Uh, okay, so what is this? What is this? Seven two wingspan, right? You want to get that eighty four three? Obviously, you can break down the wingspan some more. You can decrease the weight if you want to go faster. But I left the weight exactly the way it was. Max outstanding dunk, max that out. Yeah. 58 driving dunk. We're gonna max mid, max three. We're gonna go 65 free throw. If you play rec, free throw is very important. Because you don't wanna be that guy that just can't hit free throws. I have yet to see hack a shack happen in rec, but don't be surprised if people. You know, do hack a shack at the record if they know you can't shoot. <laughs> then max out block 95. Max that out. Put that up there so you get 15. No, I lied. Uh, I bring this up to a 58 because let's say you do this, you still gotta max out speed and acceleration. Max that out. Right? Four. Bring that up. Seventeen. Fin um, defense. Eighteen playmaking. Seventeen shooting and six finishing. So you still get Hall of Fame posterizer. And you might want like rise up instead of like slithery for a standing dunk since you're a center, especially with a ninety-five standing dunk. Um. You're going to have gold on all the uh, more important badges for a center. So like Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter. Um, yeah. I mean, you don't really need a lot of these on Hall of Fame. Gold should be good enough. Have the meter off. Everybody should be able to shoot this year. So. And then at 99, you're going to get 88.3, 90 mid. Um, pass accuracy, so you're gonna have Hall of Fame Break Starter, Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, Needle Threader, um, Gold Unpluckable, um, Relay Passer, and Bailout. Because, you know, as a center, you're gonna grab the rebound and just toss it down core, so I feel like pass accuracy is very important. And especially with Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, um, needle threader 
is given to the player receiving their pass after your pass. Yeah, so even relay passer for a center, throwing the ball down the court, very important. See somebody open in the corner after you grab a rebound. This is a bad look for it. Am I blind? Oh, no. Wait, I'm blind. Okay, maybe you don't get it off rip. Because they, they, they only show you the badge that you get off rip. I think you do get gold. Um, I don't care. Oh, quick first step. There you go. I'm blind. I couldn't see it. So you do also, you also get gold quick first step. So if you want to break your defender down um, in the rag, you're going to have probably a, a slower build uh, guarding you as well. And then plus eight, so you'll get like an 87 speed. Uh, 73 acceleration. 89 vertical. 99 stamina. So. And then like 95 block, right? So at 99, you're going to get a 99 block. 99 defensive rebound. 75 steal. 75 perimeter defense. You even got some interior defense there. So it, it can still defend. Defend. Stretch the floor, plenty of playmaking badges to more or less to help the team out more than, than you. Obviously, if you don't need all these playmaking badges, like do you even need ball handle, uh, you can put it towards finishing for a big. But yeah, that's the badges right there. Um, let me do the math. That's 34 and 6 is 40, 58 badges. So it's not bad. I know power forward, they get 70, 80, 90, and that's pretty much the meta because they could do everything. But, you know, got to show off some builds for other positions as well, right? There are people that want to play bigger, um, bigger character, bigger players, I would say characters, bigger players, because you're 6'10 over 6'7, you're grabbing boards over the 6'7. And especially with an 81 vertical, right? At 99, you're going to have, a, and Jim Rad, you're going to have an 89 vertical. So you're pretty much jumping over, you're jumping over. Uh, the, the look the smaller power forwards unless unless you got three guys boxing you up so you're you're crashing boards and you're putting it back up with your 95 standing dunk so you are a mismatch as well I know power forwards they can take you off the dribble but at the rim you have the advantage <laughs> and you have some interior max dunk you got the wingspan you got the height so you'll have a lot more success blocking um people who just rim running at the rim trying to post rise you every time you will be able to stop them on occasion but yeah like i said that's 34 34 and 6 is 40 and 18 is 50 badges which isn't bad i know uh, outside of power forward you want 56 to 60 badges um for these are these other builds so like let's say you remove strength Right. So you can get way more badges if you just remove strength, right? But I don't think you get the name Stretch Cap Glass Cleaner anymore. Yeah, you get a facilitating three level score. Carl Anthony Towns, Bad Matabayo, DeAndre Ayton. Not bad, right? It's not bad. But I was going for the Stretch Glass Cleaner name. Obviously, we just found another build facilitating three level score. I guess we, we have two builds in this one video now. Um, Ryan, we can go back. We can just see the badges we would put. Rise up. Slithery. Post Riser. Uh, Lob City. One more. Um, Giant Slithery. Heat Seeker. Inside shots, shooting, catch and shoot, green machine, hot zone hunter, uh, corner specialist, gonna that gold. Uh, stop and pop sniper, hot shot, we can put that whole thing there. Dead eye? Yeah, I can put that there. What I say for this? No. Yeah, gold, gold, bullet passer. Uh, 
Bailout, Gold, Needle Threader, and Break Starter. There we go. Six gold badges. 17 Hall of Fame, Room Protector, Pogo Stick. I don't think you need ankle braces. Um, Alright, you can even go gold here. Pickpocket. Or Interceptor. Alright. Even if you go that, that. You still got to box people out, so a silver box. But you're a center, do you really need Interceptor? You can just go whole theme box. Alright, you can play around with these badges. Obviously, for defense, there's a lot of good badges, like even Chase Town Artist, which I didn't put. Like Intimidator is very important, and then everything else you can just play around with. So yeah, I feel like you have to, I hate this, so you can't just go back. So continue, and then once this starts, I'll quit, go back to the uh, glass cleaner shot creep, glass cleaning, stretch glass cleaner. So yeah, I just showed you right away how you can make the build better. Um. You don't even have to put it. edit build. Um, I know I kind of just pressed, picked whatever takeover, because at the end of the day, the takeover doesn't change the name of the build. So that's pretty much what I was going for. So, right, this was 58. Nice, right, so we still get six. Uh, you may want more defensive badges. Right, you can't even get much. Oh, because it's strength. So yeah, you can't even get any defensive badges. So you can get three more shooting badges if you want. Yeah, then you can put it on. So you can get more shooting badges if you want. I mean, you could also leave your interior at 50 and just put the rest on strength, right? So you get, uh, you get gold, brick wall. So if you want to set screens, all right. So there's multiple ways, multiple ways you can play with this. You go back. I just want to see the name of the build. Yeah, stress class cleaner. So you still get the name. Shades of DeAndre Ayton, Carl Anthony Towns, Bam Adebayo. And we already know Ben, uh, Bam. Bam could play defense. We saw what he did at the bubble. He can he can definitely protect that protect that rim. Shot blocking the animal. <laughs> um okay, so you're gonna be stretch, right? So Well time to stay straight jump shot. We can also go limitless as you'll be catch and shoot anyway. And like I said, look, since you're gonna be doing a lot of Grabbing the rebound, grabbing the rebound and pushing the ball down the court. Glass clearing down. This is actually the first time I've actually seen this badge here. A um, badge. Um, first time I've seen this takeover here. So I remember this being one of the takeovers in previous gen. Or you can get um, where's it? Wow, there's really okay. Box out wall, team bad, team takeover, team ratings boost. So I mean, you can go see the future, so you can you you can know where the ball is gonna land. <laughs> Or glass clearing dimes, just pushing the ball down the court after you grab a rebound, which unless somebody's taller than you, I've seen like maybe two or three um, players that are like seven feet and up, it's unbelievably slow. But unless you're doing that, unless you're playing against them, I don't see you having a problem. You need to see the future. Even then, you're getting boxed out anyway on in rec. I can see this being useful in the park, but in in the rec. Or you're constantly just getting boxed out. I don't. I don't see see the future being useful. I can see this being more useful, especially if it's giving your uh, teammates a boost after you pass it. <laughs> or you can just go these two, right? Spot up and limitless. But if this was me playing, I'd go limitless and I'd go glass clearing times. Me. 
Everybody else is different. Um, stretch class cleaner. DeAndre Ayton, Carl Anthony Towns, and Bam Adebayo. Great players, great players. I can't wait to see what DeAndre Ayton's gonna, gonna do this year. Bam showed a lot of potential in the bubble last year, or last season. And you got Cat. You know, it seems a little better. I'm waiting for Cat to take that next step. We've, we've seen him potential, you know, being top 10 in the NBA, best center. Like, he had that potential early on. Then the whole thing with Jimmy Butler. So now he has D'Lo. The team got a lot better. I can't wait to see what that team could do this year. So, wait. Where did I go? I keep clicking edit build. Uh, we were, we've already seen the badges I picked. The only difference is six finishing instead of, like, 14 that I had before. We, we had before. <laughs> so yeah, um, how, how are you not gonna go Hall of Fame post riser right? And then silver rise up. Shooting, we've already seen it. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, uh, green machine, hot zone hunter. Uh, hot shot. And did I? Uh, the first step, bullet passer, needle threader, cold, unpluckable, cold, and break start, silver, dimer, downhill, relay passer. I feel like you need this more than. You can go relay passer, go bailout, silver. I don't, I don't think you need handles for days. I don't think you need special delivery unless you're doing flashy passes. Um, Dimer and Floor General aren't really that important, in my opinion. Everybody should be able to shoot it in this game. Um, don't really need Space Creator. And if I maybe we've already seen it. Uh, Intimidator, Hall of Fame, you need. Silver Box. Um, what else? Rebound chaser, gold. Uh, brick wall. But I heard picks aren't that good this year, so I probably don't even need that. Um, pick dodger, room protector. Oh, we'll say gold, gold. Pick dodger, all false passes, leader, hot stopper, interceptor. Right. You could also just remove this and chase down artists if you want to just. Want to just block people? Uh, for me, this is what I would do. Cause on my main build, I don't even have interceptor because I have no steals. And if I get a good read on the pass, I'm stealing it anyway. So people love having steals in this game. I don't have steals because they take up way too much overall. So I don't even have uh, interceptor. Okay, so that's pretty much that. We found two builds um, in this one video by accident. I didn't even play around with, with the strength and putting it on finishing. So, I think we found eight more badges. So right here, this is 34, 40, 58. So we had 14. Yeah, so we had like, what, 64 badges on the facilitating three-level finisher. I don't even remember the name of the build anymore. So. Hope you like the builds. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what, what you guys want to see next. In terms of uh, position or like a player, I'll try my best to create a build off of a player. This was just me making the best uh, stretch glass leaner possible. I, I just like the, uh, the the glass leaning builds this year. They seem very flexible because there's there's different versions of them. Like mine is the um, the like the glass leaner that I play. My main build. The uh, glass cleaning shot creator. There we go. I just lost it in my head there for a second. And then this one's a stretch glass cleaner. And then, I feel like fours and fives are very flexible this year. Uh, guards and the small four. They all have the same name. Two way, two way threat. Two way offensive threat. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I have a goal of 50 subs. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like and sub button. And peace.